But we are starting at Cranbrook and a look at the live tours on social media that give people a closer look at Eliel Sarnin's work. So for people who aren't maybe terribly familiar, give us a bigger picture of, of Cranbrook's really rich architectural heritage. Cranbrook is a community um, since 1904 when we were a private family estate. Um, and then around 1922 when we opened an elementary school, uh, George and Ellen Scripps Booth built a center of art, education, and science. And they worked with predominantly the Finnish American architect, Eliel Saarinen, uh, who immigrated to America in 1923. And he lived here at Cranbrook from 1925 until his death in 1950. And so he, the entire second half of his career, he spent building and developing this special place. And Saarinen really considered it to be a total work of art. And so he was not only our architect, but he designed the landscape. He designed the, where the buildings went, the streets. He designed the interiors. He designed the furniture. He designed the teacups and the logo. He even designed the ties that the boys wore to dinner. And so part of my role with the Cranbrook Center for Collections and Research is um, preserving that legacy that the Booths and the Sarnins left, but then also educating the wider world about all that Cranbrook has to offer. Now, usually you would be giving walking tours or you would be engaging with groups who would come in and, and be able to show them everything on the grounds. COVID-19 changed all of that. It did, and it changed it quite quickly. Um, we had a, a large dinner celebrating our English roots and that was canceled. And then it was just the dominoes fell and everything changed. And so I thought, you know, everything's moving digitally. I have a phone with a camera on it. I can take the tours that are now all canceled and we can do them through the phone. So talk to me about, it's called Live at Five. You've been on Facebook and Instagram. What are you doing and what's been the reaction from people? Um, so every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at five o'clock, I go to a new corner of campus. Um, on Facebook, we do building tours. Um, so taking one corner of campus. Um, on Instagram, I try and do sort of closer look at individual objects. So a real close study of one sculpture or one chair. And the reaction has been overwhelmingly positive. We're able to get into a lot more corners of campus and share a lot more stories with a lot more people. So I had about 400 people virtually on a tour of Cranbrook House. And designed by Albert Kahn, right? Yes, yep, so uh, the Albert Kahn Cranbrook House, and then later in the 20th century, we have important buildings by New York architect Stephen Hull, um, Todd Williams and Billy Chin, Spanish architect Rafael Mineo, and those are all um, important projects that happened around the turn of the century that we really don't tour as much, and so I've been able to reach out to whole new um, corners of the architectural world who are interested in these lesser known parts of Cranbrook. What are some of the plans now as, as we start looking at opening up? Well, just yesterday, I was planning my Live at Fives through August. So I, I will continue doing them uh, at least for a couple of more months. And we also at Cranbrook are taking um, health and wellness incredibly seriously. And so it's very unclear when both we as the staff uh, and visitors will be comfortable standing in a group with 15 people, particularly when it comes to the three houses that we operate as house museums. It will be a minute before uh, tours are resumed here at Cranbrook. All right, Kevin, go ahead and tell people again where they can find these virtual tours and when. Absolutely. Uh, we're the Cranbrook Center for Collections and Research, and every Wednesday at 5 o'clock on the Cranbrook Center for Collections and Research Facebook page, you'll just log on to the page, will pop up automatically at 5 o'clock, and on Tuesday and Thursday on Instagram, at Cranbrook Center. At the end of June, we'll be having a lecture live from London with Brendan Cormier, curator at the Victoria and Albert Museum, who will be talking about cars. So 
guests can see that on our Facebook page or our website as well.